do what now? You uh, whacking some fish down there? Yesterday was kind of tough. It was prefrontal, and I only I caught one good and lamb to be slammed. As I filmed yesterday, I caught those three. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there's some guys catching 20 pound limits. I wish I knew what they were doing. So basically, they're well. I know what they're doing. They're just running the bank with a crankbait. Yeah. The, 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 the our issue is is that the dam is open wide. I mean, it is wide open. Yeah, you're gonna um, get a bunch of rain. Yeah, we got so much rain that uh, every lake in the Savannah River chain is at full pool, and we're still getting rain. So they're dumping the lake as fast as they can. I got water. My kids can put their kayaks in on the other side of our fence and go through the woods to get to the river. Wow. Uh, so yeah, we get, and it's been that way for eight days. Yeah, so there's yeah, no yeah, passage yeah, 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 themselves yeah, up on. I got water. My kids can out of the side of our fence and go through the woods to get to the rear camera, whatever the pile it is. All right, I think we're live now. Yeah, and it's been that way for eight days. So there's no passage themselves up on. I got water. My kids can out of the side of our fence and go through the woods to get to the rear camera, whatever the pile it is. All right, I think we're live now. Open up another window. I think we're live now. You gotta open up another window and mute it. No, I'm mean, pretty good. No, I'm mean, muted. It should be. Are you muted there? It should come up here. Yeah, mute it right there. Now open, you want to open up this so you guys can see you, and then. Well. And then you can see your chats, right? When the uh, stuff is here. Right there. Oh, there, there. Now there. Okay, now you guys. Well, don't you need, need to make that better, though? Mm. But you don't want it too big, because then you can't see it. Dang, who's that, who's that cute guest I got there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think we're good. Oh, I had to do it. <laughs> Jeez. All right, dude, I think we're good. All right, man. Thanks, Gene. There goes that hoodie for Gene. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I think we figured it out with the help of Gene, so... Thanks, Luke Master. All right, where are we at? Uh, yeah, that's the wife, yes. That's why we fish and she does technology. <laughs> where is the... Uh... No, see, now you just... There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, I'm with Trey Harple. Why is this backwards? Because you just took the screen out, that the live screen. You oh. clicked on that, and so when you clicked on that, it hit the oh, live so we screen. Oh, so over here? Oh. Don't click over. Make this smaller. Oh, I ain't pushing nothing. That works. Can we, can we move this over here? I guess we can, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Try this one more time. <laughs> we are with... Trey Harper. Trey Harper. What's going on, guys? Trey, introduce yourself. What's going on? Trey, uh, owner of TH Customs and uh, TH Realty and Clean .com. Pretty much the uh, other tackle junkie. Yeah. The other crazy tackle junkie. <laughs> um, looks like we already got some questions coming in. Okay, let's see here. Input on the lose. Uh, great reel. Um, the main same factory is uh, Revo's. Um, nice solid reels. Uh, Cashwell and Palmo. Nice reels for money, though. So I haven't used uh, Smile Bay Casters, Daiwa, or Smile. Uh, I take Daiwa. I'm a Daiwa guy. Been using Daiwa's for 10 years. I've used Shimano's, and I've used Alu's and Abu's and 13 Fishings. But I take Daiwa's. Let's see, one big caster and one spinning reel. What test and kind of line? One big caster. I guess it really depends on price range. I mean, you could. And for the money, that tattoo looks good, real. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it can be had for. 100, 100 yeah. bucks. Look on Amazon, 100 bucks. Uh, spinning reel. I know you're not much of a spinning reel guy. Um, I like some amount of spinning reels. I mean, you get that Sahara for like 80 bucks. That's a good reel. Yeah, that's uh, a good reel. Uh, kind of line. If you want like one line for everything, I'd go with like maybe braid, like 30 pound braid, something like that. Yeah, or you could go like big game, Berkeley big yeah. game. It's a pretty good do. line. It's cheap. Um, you can get like 1,000 yard spools for 10 bucks or 20 bucks. I mean, it's a pretty cheap line. It's a nice. Where'd it go? Okay, see here. At first, you want to see, yeah. Ask, Ask the wife. wife. That's what we did. Yeah. 
Let's see here. I'm not even going to look at the screen. It's too annoying. Okay. Would you rather never fish again or never? All right, guys. Fishing questions only, please. Saved by Fluke Master. Thanks, Gene. You the man. Yeah, Fluke Master. <laughs> see here. Best reel for the price. Did that one. What's that? Tattoo. Tattoo, yeah. I say tattoo. What was good reels? Uh, yeah, Dylan. We already we already went through your like uh, <laughs> pick who and who. <laughs> <laughs> beard or no beard? I'm going with beard. Yeah, go Blues. They're playing right now. Twenty minutes in. I don't even know what the score is, so I don't want to watch them. How <laughs> old were you when you started fishing? I'm gonna say uh, maybe seven or eight years old, something like that. Started catfish with my dad. Yeah, I think I was on the same. Three, four years old, maybe. Uh, started out really saltwater fishing. Uh, family used to live down in uh, Florida, so we got to go down there a lot. And saltwater fish. Didn't start bass fishing until '97, '98. Cool. Then I got destroyed. <laughs> Too much bass fishing now. Good second bait caster combo. Uh, I guess for everyone, probably. I mean, I know you're against this, but a spinny reel. We'll probably be first, just because you yeah. can throw a lot of lighter stuff, pretty much anything with it. And maybe a medium light to a medium, and then I'd say bait caster, uh, medium heavy. Yeah, seven foot medium heavy. Yeah, seven bait foot. caster. You can throw everything on it, for the most part. What do you think about using the field mouse? I haven't used it too much, to be honest. Field mouse. Is that the uh, coppers? I haven't touched it yet. I haven't touched it. Don't use it. Let's see here. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. If you guys have not checked out Trey's channel yet, definitely check him out, Trey Harple. Yep, over there at uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Periscope. I'll put all that in the description. TH Customs, all that stuff. Let's see here. Yeah, go Blues. Going for you. How many times a year should I clean my reels? Uh, good question. It depends on how much you fish. Um, I usually typically clean them in the spring, and I might clean them a couple months later, and then clean them in the fall when I'm done. And then let them sit for, uh, you know, the, the winter time. But it really depends on if you fish 300 days a year, if you fish 60 days a year. What's the best lure? The one that catches fish. <laughs> yeah, best lure. Dynamite. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see your offense clear reels. You can answer that. Let's see here. Here we go, Trey. He's going for you. Uh, third gen, two month old Revo. Keeps sticking. Um, uh, more than likely it is your thumb clutch. Um, it's either dry, loose, or it's failing. Um, there's a couple of springs that allow that thumb clutch to kick back up when you crank the handle over. Um, so it could be a couple of different things. Without seeing the reel busted open, um, it's usually one of those things though. All right, Trey. What kind of lube and oil you use? Guy wants to need some reels from Mitchell right here. Uh, oil I use is Lucas Oil. Boca's oil and Dyler's uh, Space Age Grease. Um, I actually have all those at the shop if you need any. Just uh, shoot me a message on Facebook or YouTube. Okay. It's all great oil though. How many times should I change my line a year? I braid. I won't change. I'll leave it on all year. Uh, mom, I change maybe two or three times just because it's cheaper and because floor is more expensive. Um, you know, one or two times max for me. Yeah. I've gone six years with braid. Um, I've done Power Pro and Seaguar stuff, and I, it's it's six years on braid. Um, fluorocarbon, I can usually get a season out of, but I will also spray that either Real Magic or whatever KVD stuff. Yep. Pretty, I and I cover my reels. Um, the worst enemy against the reel the line is uh, UV, so I cover my stuff. It's be good for you, Trey. If you don't use spinny reels, what's your go-to bait caster for weightless plastics? Plastics. Um. Uh, Anything you can buy here would probably be the Daiwa SV105. That just came out at ICAST, and it came out probably a month ago. Overseas stuff, you're looking at Daiwa Pixies. Um, maybe Shimano Cores, Shimano Corrado 50s. <clears throat> they can toss some weightless plastics as well. I mean, the new uh, Corrado eyes and stuff can do weightless plastics. Just how light it depends you're going to throw. See, what line should I use for my 10 year old that will make where he doesn't have to set the hook as hard? And I go braid, doesn't have any stretch. Yeah, braid. Or cheap mono. If it's a young kid, he'll blow it up. True. 
Let's see here. Braid will be. Man, Braid's a beast when it gets knotted up in knots. So. Oh, yeah. Let's figure it out. <laughs> it's horrible. What would the worst lure for winter be other than a frog? Um, <laughs> the worst lure for wintertime. Um, hmm. I don't know. Popper? Yeah, maybe. Anything top water? Well, if you got frozen water, then anything, really. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's going to be frozen here this weekend. It's going to be 22 degrees. Yeah, it's going to be cold. Ever fish number eight tackle on blackout? I have not. Uh, neither have I. I've heard good things about him. From that guy, Gene. Yeah. That food master. Food master dude. dude. <laughs> you guys ever fished in Ohio? I have not. I have. I've been to uh, Lake Erie, Lake Erie last mm -hmm. year. Um... Shots a couple videos on there. It's on the YouTube channel. Wax smallmouth, jerk baits, and more jerk baits and some jigs. Blast! It's awesome, awesome lake. What's a good frog rod if you actually know how to take your time and set the hook? Yeah, I really like that uh, uh, 735 champ. I like that extra fast tip. To me, for me personally, it's too long. I like a shorter rod, but that's a good rod. That'd be yeah. my choice. Yeah, if you're on a budget, look at the uh, the Dobbins Fury 735. It's 109 bucks. Um, I use a Savvy 735. You don't need a $300 rod to frog fish. You're using braid, and it's a visual bite. So yeah, you just need the action. You just don't need it. But the Fury is an awesome rod for the price. Yeah. I just beat up my Savvy, so. When you first met your wife, did she like fishing? Yes, she did. What's up, man? Let's see here. Where do I fish on Geneva, Zach? Um, if I told you... Um, <laughs> It's an awesome lake. Lake Geneva is a blast. Um, this year we fished a lot of deep stuff, throwing big Omega jigs, like the seven eights or one ounce, just snapping them out of weed lines. Awesome lake though. Fun. Drop shots. It's a good lake. Jerk bait bite should be killer there now. Let's see here. Have you? No, I have not uh, fished my slamming. I'm gonna try and do it tomorrow. Yeah, be fun. Let's see here. No problem, JR. What time of year do you all like to use? For you, Trevor, what time do you like to use wake baits? Time of year? Uh, I That's... say 55 degree water to 55 degree water. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, I mean, you can do it in the spring, pre spawn, post spawn, spawn, all through summer, all the way to that shad spawn in the, the late fall, bluegill spawn, because they'll spawn again here last week or so. Cool. Bluegill spawn a couple times a year, so. Let's see here. Will you ever do a live chat with Top Water Assassin? Yeah, Mike's a good buddy of mine. We'll do one eventually. Get the group together. Yeah. So, uh, performance gear, I guess. Uh, rain gear, I'm assuming you're talking about. I use the uh, Bass Pro Shop 100 mile per hour gear. I believe actually Trey does too. Yep. Yeah, other than that, I try to layer up as much as I can because I'm skinny as hell. Yeah. So, I don't like being cold <laughs> at all. Below 30s, 40s, I'm, I'm pretty miserable. Well, on, Jeff. Uh, see, so won't stop by. Cool, man. Thanks for stopping in, dude. Another nice thing is for uh, cold weather, go buy those um, heat back pads. They last 10 or 12 hours. You just break them open. They're like 10 bucks. Okay, cool. Instead of like heating your back, you can keep them in your jacket, and they, uh, they, they heat your body. Awesome. Cheap way to keep yourself warm. Best weight scale. Uh... For years now, I've used the uh, the Boga grips. It's kind of expensive, but I mean, it's a good scale. Boga makes good one. Uh, I think I used a Colrite. It keeps all your fish intact. So if you catch five keepers, it keeps them all all staggered in there, and it lets you know when you need the call. Uh, no worries, Dale. Don't worry about it, bud. What's the craziest thing you've found in a bass mouth after catching it? And nothing crazy. You usually crawfish or bluegill. I mean. Baby bird. A bird. That's the craziest thing I've seen is a bird. You can see the feathers and the feet sticking out. Uh, best wacky worm color. Uh, dirty water, like black and blue. Clear water, something more natural. Green pumpkin, watermelon, something like that. I never throw them, so I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I just never throw them. Okay. Um, green pumpkin. If you look at all my colors, it's green pumpkin. Trey, what lube do you recommend? Um, Focus Lightning Oil. Uh, Lucas Oil. And that's really about it for oils. Uh, grease, I'll go die with Space Age Grease. See, wide gap for big worms. I like a round bed offset. 
I mean, uh, I think it's got the best hookup ratio. Yeah, straight chain. Not bad. Uh, it doesn't have the wine twist. Okay, have you ever used 13 fishing? No, I haven't used it yet, but actually I just spooled it up today. I plan on using it tomorrow. Okay, so let's see. Who's excited about the Bassmasters Classic? Right here. Yeah, we'll be going. I'll be going. I'll be working. I'll be going. We'll be down there three days, probably in a booth somewhere. Can we expect to see some ice fishing? Uh, I'm going to say no. No. I'll be in the tap room playing around. I will be painting baits and working on reels, working boat shows. <laughs> no ice fishing here. I'm watching two streams at once. Sweet. Uh, I link on the trolling motor. I'm not familiar with it. I link. I don't know if that's the main trolling motor. I think it's the Godia. Uh, Maybe the iPilot and all that. No, I don't like the wireless trolling motors. Uh, they're great if you troll. If you troll for like walleye or perch or the crappie, they're fine. But they're too slow. JR Blogs. I just said your name, dude. When am I going to do a video on fishing a new lake? Uh, when I go to a new lake, I think it'd be the best time to do it. So uh, I'll get one out to you guys next year sometimes. Uh, best all around jig rod. Heavy or medium heavy? Um, that's kind of a toss up. I, mean, I don't really fish the, the thickest crap. You know, I, I kind of like a medium heavy, too heavy. I don't like the Mac heavy. I know you like that 45. That's a, that's a big heavy. White, heavy cover for me, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Deep, clear, it doesn't matter. I throw that mag heavy with 25 pound floor carbon. It doesn't matter. Clear Trade water. Trade games. No. I want those fish in the boat. Now. <laughs> Trade the big turn of fishermen too, so. Yeah. Think about lose. I think we answered that earlier. Lose is a nice reel. Uh, I'd pick lose over I do. Okay, Nick Johnson, if Luz and Abu are made together, what becomes the real difference between the two? Uh, patents. Uh, I mean, if you if you break the reels open and put them side by side, they're very close similarities. They use virtually a similar parts. Um, they all have their, their pluses and minuses. Just parts where they can outsource them to. Guy, what sucks? Gene, get out of here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. If you could pick one combo for all your fishing, what would it be? I'd probably throw a Texas rig the most. For me, it's going to be a medium-heavy, fast-action rod, 6'3", reel, by 15-pound uh, fluorocarbon. One combo? One combo. Man, um, it would be my DX745. Um, you could throw jigs, Texas rigs. Swim baits, top water. You can throw big worms, big jigs, big shaky heads, swim baits, A rigs if you have to. Spinner baits. It's a little overpowered, but. Okay, do you think our seat is crap because I do? Come on, guys. Let's see here. Oh, gee. And no. do you still have your chat going on, dude? Or is this from a long time ago? I know you started one when we were on the phone. <laughs> Thanks again for your helping. And guys, just tuning in. If you haven't checked out uh, Trey's channel, check him out. He owns TH Reel Tuning and Cleaning.com. You guys can send him your reels, get them clean, bulk of bearings. THK Wake Baits, he's your man. Wake Baits, custom painted baits, jerk baits, crank baits, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want. What is your favorite brand of braid? For me, it's going to be uh, probably FX2, some line. It's a good line. Power Pro or uh, Seagar. Seagar Smackdown. Good stuff. Someone makes a good break. Uh, that's a nice catfish. Uh, Hunter, 57 pounds. Um, no, I don't plan on making any catfish videos. Yeah, that's huge. It's a big catfish. It's bigger than what I thought. Yeah. One rods full of braid. What contest do you recommend? Uh, one rods full of braid. Oh, I'd say, like, for me, 30 pounds, what I would say. 30 pounds. 30 pounds you can get away with. Line company. I say cigar, but I like the most. Cigar. Yeah. Cigar, cigar. Use those for three years. Five years. What bio spawn should I get? I mean, get them all, dude. They're, they all got four baits out. Five if you want to count both XO sticks, but uh, they got the shaky head, the uh, bio crawl. The new six and a half inch plasma tail. Yeah. That's a good bait. Been using that one for four months, maybe. That's one of them. 
little bit. Testing. How often do you crappie and bream fish? I don't do that often. Once in a while, I go with my kids. I say a few times a year. Never. <laughs> Never. I just, yeah. It requires a spinning rod, so I can't do it. See, Brim fishing is fun, though. Kentucky Lake, we do it in the spring if we, uh, if I go with my aunt and uncle. It's a really good time. Let's see where we at. Um, I don't know. Okay, hold on, guys. I find the pound before we wrap. Enough. Here we go. Um, so bros, big fan. Thanks, Ethan. Great for the snow. I said, what, Jeff? It's going to snow. I threw the chance of snow this weekend. Level like 22. That should be a good time. Yeah, Kevin. It looks like. Uh, yeah, check him out. Is a Stud Lake. Awesome lake. Arig Arig bite. Let's see what we got. Think about the new Academy H2 Express rod they never use them. Never use them. Let's see any inputs on Ducket? Haven't used it. Uh no. I haven't seen them yet. Uh, I just don't think they're that popular. I haven't seen them in the shop yet. See, about a diamond tattoo of type R the spring and will be in the garage for the winter. What maintenance do I do you recommend? Uh, pretty much just clean it and set it away. Yeah, loosen the drag. We were talking yeah. about that earlier on Periscope. Yeah, loosen the drag. If it gets really cold, though, I would probably bring the reel in just because grease and oil. I've never fished Texas. Uh, Texas is amazing. Get down there. Lake Fork, been there. Uh, we went 10 days with the wife. Stayed with the guys at Lake Fork Tackle. Caught some giant fish. Awesome lake. Want to go back. Hey, Richard. Yeah, I'm glad we figured it out too, man. Thank God for uh, the wife and fluke master. Yeah. Let's see. You just wait to get subscribers. Uh, stay active. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are the ones that know how to do it. You guys, have a sub Trey's family, man. Give him a sub. I know you guys are big tackle guys. Trey has the best rider reel arsenal on his channel. Definitely check that out. If you guys want to see all high end gear, check out that video. Best go to bait to use the most for me, it's going to be a square bill. Uh, yeah, square bill. It's uh, done some damage in a jig. Jig and a square bill. Joe Bruno, how come I can't catch fish on jigs? I don't know, Joe. What are you doing wrong, dude? Uh, I, th I think the big problem with guys who throw jigs, uh, fish them too fast. Um, it's a tedious bait. Um, you can work them quicker, but they're tough. It's a slow bait. Let's go to bait to use the most. Where is that? Let's see here. I got to pay my reels to trade level. I got that kind of money, man. And I've been doing it for a while. Yeah. I've been in a Japanese game for 10 years, so... I'll get there one year. I've met a lot of people over there. You guys want to see some fancy reels? I'll show one. Yeah, you can. Let's show one reel. Check this one out. Uh, we, I, I just got this one in as well. It's the uh, new Lucky Craft. It's the uh, six ninety nine Lucky Craft. Um, it actually looks pretty good for Lucky Craft. The only problem is the hooks are terrible. Um, so I'm going to replace these hooks. But for six ninety nine, awesome little Lucky Craft. It's not 17 bucks. Yeah. Uh, that real. I guess I got that. It's from uh, Australia. It's uh, some guy over there painted it. It's a Daiwa uh, SSSV. It's pretty much what the new Steez is. Um, this reel was out last year. Um, so they modeled the new Steez after um, this reel right here. They just refined it a little better, put a bigger handle on it. Um, without the custom paint job. Awesome freaking real low. Yeah, that's awesome. With a uh, Daiwa Gay Braid 15 pound line, which is like thread. Okay. Can you say to go subscribe to my channel? Go check out BT3 Outdoors. It's 100 miles per hour. Really worth it. I'm looking. I tell you what, working outside in the rain and washing trucks and all that, you know, I always get wet, be honest, in the Gore-Tex. Um, but I mean, it's an excellent wind block. I don't think there's a better wind block out there. 
maybe you've had better luck with the trail. I, I love it. So. Uh, great wind block. I, I've stayed dry for the most part. I think my cuffs get a little bit mm -hmm. wet, and that's about it. Uh, but, yeah, it's great. I love it. The bibs are, are great. Your type of fishing structure for winter nice, bass. Nice thing about the bibs is you can put the heat warmers in your pocket. So yeah, big pocket, yeah. and you keep the. It's nice. Fair type of fishing structure for winter bass. Wood. Wood. Or Lake of the Ozarks here, Black Rock, uh, heats up the quickest during the day. So. Trigger the turn of fishermen. You use call tags. Yes, I use the call tags that came with my uh, my boat. And they came with six of them, so you can keep a kicker in there. Uh, best line company? I mean, I don't know who the best is. I like Cigar. I know Trey likes Cigar as well. Cigar is great. Uh, yeah, Cigar is great. All right, Nick Johnson, how much oil and grease do you use? How much is too much? Um, one drop per bearing for oil. Um, a little goes a long way. So if you think you're using too much you know, oil, then you're, you're using way too much oil. One or two drops here and there, that's it. That's it. Guys use way too much. Yeah, less is better. Yeah. Fishing in Columbus. What's up, buddy? Favorite technique for a trick worm? Shaggy head. Yeah. Mag trick worms. Shaggy head. Let's see here. Why do worms work as bait? Are they already worms in most lakes somehow? I guess, I mean, I guess there would be worms yeah. and everything else. Yeah. Especially after it rings, it yeah. floods. Oh, yeah. Those fish come shallow. Oh, yeah. Worms. yeah. Worms are great. It's probably the first bit I ever learned how to fish with. Yeah, I think everyone just starts off with a worm, yeah. Yep. Let's see here. Have you ever have a subscriber tournament? Probably not. Uh, what is the best rod to throw? THK, what SP for you? Best rod for the weight bait? Um, I've thrown it with two rods. Uh, I currently throw it on a medium, moderate, fast action crankbait rod. Um, it's essentially the Dobbins. It's a glass rod. Or I've thrown it on the, uh, like a spinnerbait rod. The 703, I don't know what you throw it on, uh, but I like the 703, I like 705, yeah. yeah. CB. The 705 CBMF glass yeah. is yeah. what I use it on. It just gives it uh, that much more time for them to inhale the bait, mm -hmm. so you're not pulling the hooks out. It's also my square bill, right? Do you believe fluorocarbon will get you more bites in clear water? Mm -hmm. it's, got more it's more sensitive, though. Yeah, it's more dense. Mm -hmm. um, so in certain applications, yes. Yeah. Um, clear water, yeah. But you gotta go back to the braid and the A-rig and all that stuff. A-rig. True, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You looks would think like about a, that to me the other day. Looks like a giant umbrella under the water. Yeah. So. Yeah, we'll hit that. Probably two line try. Do you guys use a troll perfect? I do not. Uh, don't know what it is. That's what clamps on the shaft, I think. Uh, oh, the, uh, keeps it vibrating. Yeah. Nope. Let's see how bad. How bad is the lag for live stream? I think it's it's about caught up for us. Yeah, it's it's not too bad. Type of video over the winter for me, and probably uh, maybe some fit, some reviews, little reviews, and uh, organization type stuff, something like that. Probably do some how tos. Yeah. Maybe some. Uh, maybe I'll do a live uh, like how do my you know I paint my weight baits and stuff. Um, I thought about doing that kind of stuff. Cool, yeah. Maybe some real YouTube, you know, how to videos. Yeah. Cool. Shout me out, Texan Bass and 55. What is up? Do some trick casts. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I seen uh, a John B do one that was pretty cool, and then uh, oh, he he told somebody else to do. I can't think of his name now. Um, it's fabulous. No, Brendan's. Tell about Brendan's. I can't remember his channel now though. He just did one too, and uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, there's another trick cast one. I look up the guys from Dude Perfect. Um, they do. Dude Perfect and uh, Tom Reddington. They do a trick cast as well for uh, oh, cool. Boy Scouts. They did it like last year, I think. Oh, cool. It's awesome. Okay, what would you use during an algae bloom? Um, <laughs> algae bloom? Spinnerbait. Yeah, spinnerbait. Swim jig? Yeah. Um, unless it's bad, then you gotta slow down. Wanky rig. Your wicks are sick. I've caught so many fish on them. Big and stupid. Appreciate it, Aiden. Yeah, you guys uh, want the wake baits? I brought a little bit of box, just trying to get some wake baits in. You guys can see those or not. <laughs> I got a little bit of weight baits in there. Yeah. Trey's a guy for the weight baits. Hit him up on Facebook, too. What type of waders? Don't know. Yeah, I don't use waders. Neoprene. That's all, I, that's all I've ever used. Fly fishing. 
see what pound for crankbaits. I mean, it depends on a crankbait. A lighter uh, pound test will get you deeper. Yeah. But, I mean, for a spur bill, sometimes I want to go shallow or extra shallow, I'll go heavier. You know, I might throw 20 pounds on a spur bill. Yep. So it really depends what you want to do with the bait. See your 10 XD. I don't throw them, so I have no clue. Uh, Dobbins 806 CB, um, and you can go 12 to 17 pound line, and then the rear, the reel, um, and you can find five one to one year ratios um, or five seven to one. And what's the power and action on that rod? Um, moderate fast. Moderate fast. Yeah. You can do the 806 or the 805. I use the 805 for the 10XD or the Duos. Um, 806 is just a little bit more power to it. It's a beast. Okay. It's a good A-Rig rod, too. What's the best this time of year? We just talked about that earlier, jerk baits. Yeah, jerk baits, jigs, square bills, A-Rig. Just depends on where you are. Let's see here. What? I what I was trying to say there. Tell myself that I don't catch this. Already got that one. Yeah. Let's see. Do you put new bearings in all your reels before using them? Me, yes. <laughs> I, yeah. Any reel I get, I put bearings in. Does different appendages on crawls make a difference? If some are going to catch more water than others, a little more vibration. Yeah. I mean, most, most creature beaver baits are all pretty similar. I mean, you probably only need a handful of them. Yeah. I mean, I got more than all I ever used, but I just because I want to try them out, but they're all pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Some, you know, flap like that ways or some flap that ways. If you swim your jig and you want more action, I mean, for the most part, they'll do the same. Uh, the sweet beavers are more stiff of, of a bait, so they don't have that swimming action. Let's see where we got. Okay. Three baits to bring to fish and overfish a lake from the bank. Overfish like I say more finesse stuff. Wacky rig. Yeah, shaky head, wacky rig. Spinner bait. Yeah, spinner bait, something like that. Flake bait. Yeah. Flake bait's great, they haven't seen yeah. it. Yeah. It's a great bait. All year long, wake bait. Yeah. Just just a wake bait. Just throw that year round. Best hard bait for winter, jerk bait. Uh what was that? Best hard bait for winter time. Yeah, jerk bait. Hands down, jerk bait. Yes, painting its tray. Yeah, we might do a painting video. Uh, we might do a, a periscope video of me just doing some uh, some simple stuff. I don't want to give away the secrets. <laughs> okay. Best bait. Best bait for cold water pond with weeds. When it's warm, I use swim jigs and chatterbaits. Cold water with weeds. Um, uh, like fishing type reaction type, I'd say shaky head. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, chatterbait, you can still use a chatterbait. You yeah, can slow roll a chatterbait. Mm -hmm. Uh, shaky head's awesome. I love shaky head. What's your favorite cold water tactic for bass? Shaky head for me, probably. Yep, shaky head jig and jerk bait. <laughs> Best baits for deep weed lines in late fall? Uh, jig. Jig or drop shot. Big heavy half ounce to an ounce jig, snap it out of the grass, or crankbait. Cody loves your videos. Thanks, Cody. Try right where we're at here. There she is. Yeah, that was it. Brandon's fabulous world of fishing. Best speed spool for bass, cheaper. Best speed spool. Not sure what that is. I don't know. Would you be able to turn my lose turn MG 5.4 to a 6.1? Uh, JT Bassin, I sh might be able to. I'd have to get with Luz, see if I can get their gear set from them. Uh, yeah, I, I should be able to. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, top of it. Best football jig, deep water. Seven forty five for the three quarter ounce. Yeah, if you're going three quarter ounce, Marvin, Marvini. 
Um, yeah, do the 745. You do a three quarter ounce or an ounce, 745. If you go half to three quarter, go to the DX 784. That's an awesome deep water football jig rod. Kentucky Lake. It's, it's a lot of use. Cody, appreciate it, buddy. Let's see. Number one soft plastic. You talking brand or like, I'm not going to say a brand. I like so many. My favorite soft plastic to fish is going to be a tube. Mine would be a beaver. Favorite gear ratio. I say the one I use the most is a 6.3. Yeah. 6.3 is pretty general. I think 7 to 1 is pretty general. Number one. number one brand jig. I like New Tech. Omega. Just because I work for them. Got to go to Omega tomorrow. I do. Yep. Gatorades. <laughs> <laughs> you got to give me some Gatorades. Uh, I had to fit in. Let's see where we at. How to fish a pond with small amounts of bass? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, small amounts of bass? Small amounts. Like smaller bass or like not many bass? I'd say not many bass. Not many bass. I don't even think it'd make much difference, to be honest. I'd leave. <laughs> yeah, I'd just leave. Small amounts of bass and go somewhere else. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's see. 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 let uh, you ever fish bull shoals here, runner tips, or fishing bull shoals? Nope. Yeah, no not idea. Yet. Not yet. Uh, jerk bait. Uh, in a rig right now. I've got buddies that fish all the time. He's there every weekend. Let's see here. A lot of questions. Best okay. dirty water pond bait. I say spinner bait. Spinner bait with a Colorado blade yeah, Colorado or blade. black and blue jig. MC fishing. Here. Oh, yeah. Thanks, LMR2. What's the best bait caster for low cost? Man, I, if you can get the Tatula for 100 bucks, usually you can get them on Amazon for that price. That's tough, real beat for the price. Yeah. My rule of thumb is if you have a $70 budget, wait an extra week or two or three and make it a $100 budget and see if you can squeak out as much as you can to get the best reel for that price. Uh, a lot of guys get the, you know, forty or fifty dollar bait casters and they regret it. All right. Okay. Let's see, Trey, have you used the SV Alpha's thoughts? Uh, Ryan, I've not used the reel yet. Um, I've used the other Alphas. Um, I actually have one. This is the Japanese Alphas, but I have not used the SVs yet. Uh, I have the SV Steezes though. Awesome reels. Let's see here. Yeah, the other. Crazy. How often do you use rattles on your jigs? Um, almost all the time. I fish pretty dirty water. I almost always have rattles on. You rattle on? Nope. No rattles. I use the next one. Let's see, what lures to fish a pound with a small amount of bearded on? Personal best. Uh, from a pond, like seven pounds. From a lake, five and a half for me. Uh, large mouth, it is 10.02. That's a big one. And that's from the bank, and that's in Missouri. And then my biggest smallmouth is 6'8", and that's from Kentucky Lake. Nice. My biggest five bass is 33 pounds, and that's Kentucky Lake, same day. Let's see, if you check out my channel, Freshwater Bass, and yeah, send me a link on Facebook. I'll give you a sub, bud. One of your sponsors, I really don't say I have sponsors. That's more for guys on YouTube. You guys can look at back at my truck. Right. So. Uh, you can look at my Facebook page yeah. for that. Yeah, a lot of them. I've been with them for eight to ten years. So. Let's see here. Tell me. Where we go. What about Ab Bar? Let's see. Garcia Baycasters. Any thoughts? Sorry, I've never used them. Good stuff. Abu makes good stuff. It's really hard to go wrong with any. Got a gently used tattoo from Bass Pro for 30 bucks. That's a killer deal. Yeah, $30 uh, tattoo. It's a steal. I'll buy it from you for twenty five dollars. <laughs> it's only at least five bucks. Where's a Dobbin? T three or Tatula? Do you get to Mr. Jack a box every month? Yes, I do. Um, no, I don't. 
Do you fish uh, Mackinac? I don't. I've never fished Mackinac. Is one featuring T3? Uh, I love the T3s. Um, they fit my hand. I love the pop-up hood for flipping and pitching because it engages the, the reel really quickly. So when I'm flipping docks for short strikes, it's great. Can't get them in really anymore. Go with the Tatula. Awesome reel. Um, you'll find parts of those. Five years down the road. Let's see. What is your favorite rattle brand? What's going on, Hank? Um, you know, really, dude, I have no idea what the brand is. Just whatever's cheapest on tackle or rattles. I mean, I don't get too picky with my rattles. Yeah, I don't have a particular whatever comes with the Omegas. Yeah. Just that little plastic yeah. knocker. I would imagine tackle warehouse only has probably two, a few to choose from anyway. Yeah. So. Hey, the blues away. <laughs> Thirteen fishing. Thirteen fishing. Uh, I just got one of the reels in. I haven't used it yet. The uh, thirteen fishing makes excellent reels. Um, I put them up there with the Shimano Daiwas. They make a great reel. Great reel. See Veritas rods. I never use them, Joe. Uh, nope. They are more moderate bend. They, yeah. They just they just don't have a tip. It bends without the blank. Fury versus 13 Fish and Omen. I can't say I never used the Omens. I, I mean, I haven't used either one, to be honest. Uh, I've used the Omens. Uh, Buddy's had some Omens that my tournament partner I fish with. Um, I've used the Furies. I would go Fury for balance, sensitivity, and a little bit lighter. Um, omens are great, great rods. Um, nothing bad to say about the Omens. I just think the Furies are a little bit, a little bit better rod. Go to bait in the weather right now since you live in the Midwest because I'm in Missouri. Yeah, the last couple of times out, I've been fishing the uh, for the slams. I haven't really fished the way I wanted to fish. And now, hell, the water's getting pretty cold. So, uh, what's yours right now? It's tough because it's a broad spectrum. Um, I mean, up north, you're looking upper 40s, low 50s in water. And down no, south. they don't know in the Midwest here. He's in Missouri. So, right now, right, what, would you, right. what would you fish on? Um, square bill jig. Uh, Lake of the Ozarks right now is Buzzbait Killer or the Whopper Plopper. Buzzbait uh, top water bite is on fire right now. Did you get any on that on the weekend? I didn't get a single fish on the Whopper you Plopper. Didn't? I threw it all morning for hours and hours, and the winning bag came on the Whopper Plopper. Huh. That was pretty mad. He was fishing tournament last weekend. Yeah. It was all jigs for us. It was all square bills for us. We whacked them on square bills. Let's see. What happened? Yes, bro. Up, up. Where's the DX question? Right here somewhere. So here we like. Okay. Do you guys back your dragon? In, in, I back my dragon off after each uh, each fishing trip. Yeah, Mike. Uh, yeah, back them off during the winter, so you don't have to compress the uh, the drag stacks. Over time, it just compresses the drag. Like 13 fishing, like I told you guys, I just uh, I just got that reel I haven't used yet, so I'll let you guys know what I think, though. It's good stuff. They're small and light. Yeah, just very small. Yeah, they're small and light reels. Let's see here. Search bait for fall bass. Spinnerbait or squirrel? Yeah, I say spinnerbait or squirrel. Spinnerbait or squirrel. Southern bass rate. We'll do that. I appreciate it. What do I fish out of Kentucky? Uh, Nick Johnson. Uh, I'm usually out of Paris or actually south of Paris. I got family down there, so I'm always down by the grass. Well, we're for pond wintertime fishing. Uh, pond fish in wintertime. Five for me, shake it. Yeah, wintertime? Yep. Uh, shake it or jig. A little fast jig, quarter ounce, half ounce jig. Fish are slow, lazy. Looking at a new boat, way to go, length. I guess it's really what you want to spend, man. I mean, you yeah. want an aluminum boat, you want a glass boat. Yeah. You can find a lot of good used boats. Mm -hmm. 
use market strong. What are we gonna length though? I mean, uh, I wouldn't go much smaller. My my tracker is almost eighteen foot. I wouldn't go any smaller than that. Yeah. Depends on the water. What are good big caster reels for cheap? I mean, like we said earlier, I would go too cheap. I mean, uh, I tell you, you used to get them on sale for like 70 bucks a Bass Pro, the Pork Poly Farmer. I mean, that's a good reel. That's a good reel. Uh, I had many of those, but the tattoo for 100 bucks, I mean, it's a 150 retail, but you can usually find for 100 bucks. That's a good reel. Yeah, Pro Poly are nice. They usually give them away at the Classic. Good. Uh -huh. their, their Bass Pro Classic, whatever, is like 50 bucks for uh -huh. a reel. One rod, one reel. Again, I think it depends what you what you like to do the most. I like fishing Texas rigs the most. For me, it's going to be a, a medium heavy fast action. The reel is going to be just a six three. Yeah, medium heavy heavy. Six three seven to one. I think seven to one has become the new six three. Yeah, I used to be like all sixes, now I kind of went up to seven this year, but I still I got a few sixes. Let's see. What's that? Oh, the dial? Anything of that? Oh. I think you can tell me now. I think you can click it. Okay. And it'll just do one. Uh, live bait. Nah, no. No. When I was younger, doing a little catfish, I did, but I think I usually mostly use hot dogs, though. What intro swim bait rod and reel for five to seven inch huds? James. Um, man. Pretty big baits. Uh, you probably have to go to either the 806 Dobbins. Um, I don't know what those weigh. If they're a little bit wider, you could probably go to the Fury 730 or the, the Fury 795. Um, Price-wise, the Fury 795 is a great swim bait ride. But you're doing some bigger stuff. I'd go to the 806. It's a beast of a stick. Where do you think bass position themselves in dirt canals? On the bank. I mean, okay. shallow, Dirt. Dirt canal. Yeah, probably shallower next to cover. Um, wood. Is it true 13 is making a new reel model? No idea. Yeah, no, no clue. clue. No clue. They got the KP, which is the $500 reel. I think like that's cool. And it's red, too. It's sick. It's light. You have one in the shop? No. no. It's a pretty hard reel to get. Let's see your favorite place to buy fishing supplies. Tech Warehouse. Tech Warehouse. Nick Johnson, shoot me a message about that puck. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want for it. <laughs> white face, real. Yeah. Real work, white face. Nick Johnson for that puck. Just let me know. Uh, lure for ponds. We covered that. Shaky heads, mostly jigs. Do cold fronts and air pressure affect fishing a lot? Mm, springtime, yes. Fall, no. I mean. Relatively speaking, is. It's actually worth to buy a new DX, M45, that just came out, or cheaper old DX. Well, you can't even get the old ones right now, can you? They're gone. Yeah, I, I think you might be able to call the shop mm -hmm. um, to get the old DXs. If you can get an old DX for cheap, it's definitely worth it. Excellent rod. The new 745 HPs are stellar rods. Awesome rods. It's cool that they kept the same uh, price point on them, because uh, in my opinion, they're a much better rod than the previous DS. I should have bought one. I was yeah, thinking about one. Yeah, I've seen the rod. Yeah. Oh, my God. Have you ever used the Mega Ring Tube? I, don't. I have not. What is that? I'm not real sure. Ring Tube. Doesn't, uh, that's a craw tube by uh, like four. Yeah. They stopped making those. Gene LaRue, don't they make a Ring Tube? Maybe. I haven't, but I usually uh, mainly use uh, Strike King and uh, Young Tubes, Chompers Tubes, yeah. I like. Gene LaRue makes an awesome shake here. It's tiny. Yeah. Oh, there you go. What's your favorite shake here, Plastic? Um, Exo Stick is nice. Um, I haven't fished the Plasma Tail enough yet, but uh, yeah, that's a good one, obviously. Plasma Tail is nice. Uh, Robo Arms. Robo. 
Uh, Mag. I like a crawl, to be honest, too, on there, too. Yeah. Crawl during the fish side line. It's a small little crawl, but I like that yeah. on the uh, that owner finesse ball head. I like the shaky head. Yeah. Uh, beavers. Uh, missile baits, D-bombs. Great on the shaky head. Hey, let's talk about that. The only root maker room, too. No, I have not used that, Hank. Nope. Yeah, Tim gets down to 35, and the water is still around the 60s. Do you think the bite will be tough? No. Because the fish are in the water. If it's 60 degree water, top water bite should be good. Um, water here last weekend was 62 to 63, and the top water bite was phenomenal. Um, Jake bite was awesome, and the square bill bite was awesome. It's like 806. Gene sends us something else with Joe. Hey guys, 8 o'clock, uh, they're having a live chat over there at One Rod's channel. You guys can go check that out. One Rod, uh, Fluke Master, John B., and Flair's over there. I don't believe they are. And maybe if they're nice enough. Uh, and they sent us a link we'll head over there. If not, then we do. So, have we got 20 guys watch still. We'll hang with you guys for a while. You go only get Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. I've got nothing. All right. Baits are dying for Gene. And some other guys. The guy that won uh, Gene's uh, contest got his baits trying. Well, that's cool. That was yeah. a nice giveaway. Oh, he was a great giveaway. <laughs> Best jig. I'm not that right. I what the best is. I just know what I like, and I like the new tech lures, uh, new jigs. I don't try to like the Omega jigs. Big Omega jig. A freshwater bass. And let's see here. Say send me a message. Did you send it on my Tackle Junkie page, bud, or my uh, personal? Let's see here. Mega ring tube is money. I'll try that out, Nick. Cold fronts and air pressure effect fishing on. I think we already answered that one. Let's see where we at. That's Jig. Let's see where we are. Top water bait. Let's see. Dive or lose. I never use lose. I like Diwa. What's the next track? Um, Diwa. Definitely. Uh, Diwa's lower end reels right now are awesome. Five or ten years ago, they made horrible lower end reels, but uh, they've come a long way. But dial all day. They make a better reel. Column left and weak baits. Uh, tackle them. What's your favorite creature bait? Um, I like uh, I, think I like hog type baits, you know, like a power hog. I mean, I did really well with a couple years ago. Um, what was that called? That's striking. It's the race tails here. The race tail, I think smoking rooster. I don't know if you want to call that creature bait or not, but I had good luck with that one. Hmm, creature bait. I don't know, some, some people like, you know, I don't think they consider like creature bait like a beaver, or, because I consider that a beaver bait. Right, creature bait. Creature bait, I consider something that looks like nothing else, really. You know, like a hog or a... Yeah, yeah, Yamamoto's flapping hog's nice. Yeah, that's um, good. Missile baits, destroyer. Yeah. That's a good bait. Um, you take a look at that, didn't you? Lake Fort's uh, beaver tail, the giant one. Awesome bait for moving a lot of water. That's a cool freaking bait on a swim jig. Me bait. That won't really that worth it. Fireballs. Thoughts? Um, it really depends on where you fish. Uh, here, probably not. We fish a lot of deeper water. Up north, guys love them. Down south, guys love them. Um, but these deep, clear reservoirs, you just personally just don't need them. Yes, I fish. Uh, I fish a lot of shallow water, and uh, if I can afford them, I eventually I'll probably get them. You should get the mini ones. I thought about that, yeah, because there's a guy on here that actually, he has one that holds his boat just fine. Yeah, the mini one's on. Yeah. Is that that one one? Oh, they got them on there? I, th I think so. I don't know, maybe? I like that. They, that'd be perfect here. It'd be free here. Tip on maintaining. Micro-modular gears. Uh, Shimano gears. Um, uh, yeah, they're going to squeeze out a lot of grease. Um, uh, I usually just lightly grease the gears. If there's just enough grease to cover them. Um, you're good to go. A lot of guys will just put way too much grease on their gears, and it just spews it everywhere, especially on the inside of the uh, the frame. Lighter the better. That's full run of budget. I haven't used it, but I like to talk about that red label. Um, red label? Um, I mean, Seaguard red label. Yeah, red label, label or Invisex. Ryan Bollinger. Um, so far, the SSSP is working great. Uh, I used it last weekend. I've used it the last month and a half. Awesome little reel, and it's just pretty cheap. For Japanese reel. 
kayak fishing. I mean, uh, I'd never do it. Yeah, I don't really have a desire to go kayak fishing, but if you, I guess you want a cheap boat, a good way to get in the water that's cheaper. I mean, kayak fishing would be a good way to do it. Yeah, definitely probably cheaper than a drown boat. Oh, yeah, and you can get them anywhere, and you can throw them on a car. Yeah, easy yeah. transport. Yeah, your favorite top water. Uh, yeah, I have to go with a rage toad. I don't like the rage toad. Man, favorite top water. It's pretty tough. I like the duo pencil 110s. It's an awesome walking knocker and bait. Uh, any hollow body frog or the duo poppers, popper 64s. Awesome baits. Braid or fluorocarbon for top water? Braid. Yeah, braid. Fluorocarbon. Sinks. Yep, yeah, sinks. You can get a few feet out of it and then start dragging it yeah. up down. Yeah. I don't know if you do it, but I do it on uh, four, uh, braid. Just get a yeah. fly line. It's the uh, mm-hmm. wax. Uh-huh. The wax the first, like, six feet. Okay. It makes it completely float. And it's awesome. And a braid with, like, a front bait terrible. Does that help with that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It makes it completely float. It's awesome stuff. It's cheap. Too. I was throwing those, uh, Smith, like, one of the devil horse. I was using braid. Yeah. Man, I was like, what is wrong with this bait? Man, it's all. It's a little big old knot, man. It's all, oh, all, all it? up in the front prop. Oh, man. Best jig, New Tech, Omega. Yep. Check it out. Here we go. My turn. It's back fishing. Hey, Ben. Dobbins, St. Croix. I mean, I've never used St. Croix, so I'm going to go with Dobbins. Dobbins. Uh, I've used St. Croix in the past. I've used them in the past. They make a great run, but I'm a Dobbins fan. Thanks, Hank. Glad well, we can finally got it going, bud. Where's your go-to lure for power team lures? I like the crawl nerve. That'd be my favorite. That's why it's in my logo. It's still one of my favorite baits. Never, I, I have used it. Yeah. The, what's the little crawl one? Yeah, the crawl one. Yeah, crawl devore, crawl yeah, crawl yeah, whatever yeah, it is. Crawl derb, yeah. With the little, uh, whatever it is. It's yeah, like it's that big. Yeah, it's what's in my logo, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Cut tails on the back, maybe the text reject. It's awesome on a shaky head. Mm-hmm. It skips like a dream. Yep, that's on my favorite. It's on shaky head, yeah. If you could only fish one more lure for the rest of your life, what would it be? Beetle spin. Yeah? Beetle spin. Fish. Beetle spin. One lure, that's it. If I had to feed my family for the rest of my life, it'd be a beetle spin. <laughs> you get so many fish on it. That's true, dude. <laughs> beetle spin. They're little, little macro magic spinner baits. Yeah. yeah. Old beetle spin. Yeah. Beetle spin. I'd say I'd have to go with yeah. If I had to feed my family, I'd say beetle spin. But the way I like to fish, I'd say spurbill. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, beetle spin. Uh, Saint Croix again. Never used them. Second gate ray going here, guys. <laughs> I'm pounding them down. <laughs> I'm almost on my second. Oh no, this is my second. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going for three. I'm winning. Uh, let's see. Okay, Black Friday special. Do you know we'll go? Uh, probably tackle warehouse, right? Tackle warehouse should have. Uh, I would assume they would have 20% off. Um, that's what they've done in the past, and it's usually their big sale of the year. So. What are you saying? Biospawn's having a sale? I think Biospawn is as well as having 35% off everything. Yeah. That's apparel, and uh, that, that's that's excellent. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. I'll probably put an order in next week. Are you doing something with Luke Flair and John B? No, I'm not. Theirs is going on right now, though. I appreciate you guys hanging with us. We got 15 loyal guys right here. So, let's see here. Best two piece rods. Uh, man, I can't say I've used anybody. You have two piece? No. Yeah. Nope. St. Croix. But I haven't done it in 15 years. We introduced Trey in the beginning of the video. Trey, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Trey uh, Harpel from St. Louis. Um, I own threaltuningclean.com and TH Customs, home of the wake bait. Uh, clean reels, custom paint baits, white baits, jerk baits, crank baits, it doesn't matter. Top waters. You must do a little bit of everything. And check them out on Facebook, YouTube. Let's see. Thoughts on Sunline Sniper. Awesome line. I never use it. Sunline makes an excellent line. Um, I was on their staff eight years ago when they before they came to the US. They make a great line. Um, good line. I, mean, I picked Vin I picked uh, Cigar over them just because I didn't like how it's on the spool now. I like how it's evenly wrapped on Seagar's on Seagar yeah. schools, you know. Yeah, I like Seagar much better. Yeah. Tattoo is unbelievable. Yeah, I like Tattoo. Yeah. It's good stuff. It's just ridiculous. Oh, there we go. Let's see what we got here. Okay, 
a sniper. A reel for swim base. See, I don't. You swim base a lot, Drew. Uh, swim bait reel. You go Calcutta or the. Uh, you got one in your box. The Daiwa. Oh. I have the spur belt. Yeah, the spur belt. Uh, swim baits either Calcutta or the Daiwa Tatula HD for a low profile and a lot lighter reel. But Calcutta is a beast. Awesome reel. See, I haven't used either one of these reels, Trey. Uh, see, Garcia SX or Lou's Tournament Pro. Uh, Lou's Tournament Pro. Bo Brown. Lou's Tournament Pro. Favorite jig, new tackle makeup. Yep. Let's see, here. favorite jerk bait. Mm, I like, uh, I guess for the bigger ones, I like the 110 Mega Bass, and for the smaller ones, I consider like I like the, like the Shad Wraps or the X Wrap Shads. I like those. Jerk bait. Um, I like Duo stuff. Honey. Duo 100 SP, and that's about it. That's about all I use for smallmouth. Ones. 110 or 120 is just big. They have a 110 now, which is awesome. But. Uh, favorite line? I guess it depends what I'm doing with it, but uh, I say the line I use the most is 15 pound uh, Nizak Cigar. Yeah. Favorite brand of braid would be, uh, for me, Sunline FX2. Power Pro line, braid, and Cigar Smackdown. Drop shot or net rig? Depends. They both have their place. I don't, really, I don't have a whole lot of confidence really in any finesse techniques fishing the muddy water than I do. I mean, I'm like a shaky head the most, so. Ned Rig's pretty fun, though. Stupid as bait in the world. You caught a ton of that one day. Remember yeah. that? We whacked him in. Oh, that was a week or so you were up there, weren't you? Lake St. Clair. Yeah, mm -hmm. we whacked him on Lake St. Clair and Ned Rig. Stupid as bait ever. It's a goose turd. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a goose turd. It's like that big. Everybody's going over to Gene. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, it's cool, though. We need to have it. Mm. Braid or mount over top of water, what's your opinion? Mm. I guess if you had a leader, you could well split up, yeah. I say well too. I use a lot of mono for top water, but I use a lot of braid. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. How when we started fishing, like seven or eight years old, I started catfishing first. I was I've been bass fishing for maybe uh maybe eleven years, ten, eleven years, something like that. Yeah, when I was young, four years old, maybe five. Pretty young. My uncle's a guide, so that's cool. He's been doing that for 40 years. Duos are mad expensive. No, nah, duos were not bad. They're 15 bucks. Mega Bass are 22. They're both great baits. That's why you just take advantage of the Black Friday sales. 20%. See here. Gliss is my text line? I've never heard of that. Uh, Gliss is the new stuff by Arden. Oh, okay. Um, I have not used it personally, so I don't know. I've heard. Mixed reviews on it, but I, you know, who knows? I think the RC square bill is definitely missing from your top five. RC square bill. Something like a Rick, Rick Lennon, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was in there, bud. That was like my number four or something like that. It was Lucky Craft. Yeah, the RC. Yeah. RC. It was in there, man. RC. Awesome bait. Wait, this has been happy. Great bait. I fish hard bills the most. I can just cover water with them. I mean, they, uh, they're somewhat weedless. Fish around wood a lot. I, mean, I like Strike King and Bomber. I say are the, uh, but the cheapest. I mean, they work pretty good. Yeah. Bomber Square A and that uh, KVD 1.5. I mean, for the price, it's hard to beat. KVD but that one awesome. you got there, man. It's another good one right there. Yeah. KVD 1.5s. Um, Mega Bash makes great hard baits. Mm -hmm. Duo makes great hard baits. Lucky Crap makes good stuff. Uh, I mean, there's, depends on what you want to spend. See, I'm not familiar with Loomis at all. Or do you, uh, you Custom rods like Batson or MHA. Okay. Uh, Dobbins and Loomis, what they've done correctly is they've gotten the tapers right. I mean, your, your rod's only as good as the tapers. If tapers are terrible, I fish some rods that are, you know, they use some high-end blanks, but their tapers are pretty bad. Um, Batson makes okay components. Um, I have not really seen much of the MH, MHX stuff. Um, I've heard good stuff about it, but Dobbins and Loomis, man, they make great, great rods. 
Gary knows how to build a rod. Both of them. Let's see, favorite flipping bait. Lady Beaver, I mean, uh, there's so many of them. D bomb or all. Yeah, D bomb's going. Lake Fork Flipper, the paddle tail. Structure bug, I like that one too. Yeah. Anything green pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> Just give me green pumpkin. It's light and blue. Oh, let's see. Let's get a serious computer. Yeah, we got some empty bottles around here, man. Yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> and we got a fridge full of them. What is better for a crawfish? Call it green pumpkin rather than a crawl. Clear water. I mean, crawfish have orange in them, so I mean, I'd say either one, to be honest. That's yeah. my opinion on it. Yep. Take a jerk bait or a jig. I mean, it's two totally different baits. Um, jig, probably. Yeah, I'd say jig too. I'm not a huge jerk bait guy. Hey, blue the one. There you go. Oh, where'd it go? Man, it's very brand. Huh. There's some uh, flipping bait. There we go. In the best condition this time of year to use a shaky head and wobble head. Sh I, I throw a shaky head when I can't, you know, I really can't catch nothing. You know, uh, it's just slow down with the shaky head. I really don't fish the wobble heads a whole lot. Uh, shaky head pretty much all year. Yep. Um, wobble head, um, same thing. Um, yeah, you can drag a wobble head year round as well. I mean, you're just cranking it in like a. Carolina regular football game. See Justin Thompson. I haven't fished it yet. I'm gonna take it out tomorrow though, hopefully. Hmm. Oh thanks Jake, appreciate it, buddy. Tell your friends to join. <laughs> What's that? Uh, oh. Well. I like this little bait though. Yeah, dude, for the price, you can't beat that man. I thought about doing it tomorrow, but it's too cold. <laughs> Have you ever tried a shaky head drop shot rig where you had a shaky head? I've seen that. I have, I personally haven't done it. You tried that before? What's that? Uh, drop shot? And a shaky head and a shaky head is the weight. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've done it with a jig and a shaky head for deep water. Or got good? Yeah. I mean, it's different. Uh, Marvin, uh, I'm on Tackle Tour, Fast Resource. I'm a board sponsor on Bass Boat Central. Um, that's about it. I've been tackle tour for 10 years, so I am the number one poster on that forum. It's an interesting forum. Pretty cool guys. I don't think they fish though. <laughs> I think they just like tackle. Yeah. Which is cool. Let's see. Black Max. Let's see, I haven't used it. Black Magic Rod. Uh, never used it. I've worked on the rod, the reels. Black Max reels. They're okay. Okay. You guys ever used hot and tots? Not sure what that is. It is a crankbait, I think. Is it? I haven't used it. I think it's based by Storm. Storm hot and tot. Right? T boz. Bows. Best STL lake, 30 miles. I can't tell you that, yeah, S. Wally. Heard that, heard that S. Wally, there's a couple lakes that I fish that have some giant fish. And, uh, yeah, there's some good fish. <laughs> I can take you on it, but I have to blindfold you. I uh, appreciate it. Backwoods Bassin. Uh, they work great down there. So I'm not a swim bait guy. Try to take this one. Swim bait for North. Um, a lot of the glide baits. Um, Duo just came out with their glide bait. Uh, that bait is awesome. It's been five years in the making. Um, pretty reasonable for a glide bait. It's not 300 bucks like a, a Roman made. Or you can go with hand pours. Uh, my buddy over at Ignite Baits does nice hand pours. Awesome baits. I've seen pictures of those. those are awesome nice. baits. Yeah. You can pretty much custom color your bait. Shadow wraps. I have not. I plan on getting some. I haven't used them though. I haven't used them. Buddy's used them a lot. Seth Fighter. Um, he loves them. He's been killing them up. Oh, now we're yeah. yeah, he's been killing them up in uh, Minnesota. The Shadow wraps. Hank Snow. That's where I vote for the money. I mean, for me, that bomber square for three bucks, it's hard to beat. But I mean, this one trains out here. This Lucky Craft, six ninety nine for a Lucky Craft. I mean, that's pretty good there. Uh, Black Friday specials, KVD one point five. Those, those are, are awesome. Six fifty nine, something like that. Yeah, those are awesome. Those of you that don't know, the uh, the rattling it's a Bass Pro exclusive. You can only get the rattling version at Bass Pro. Yeah, there's some pretty good square bills for uh, six bucks. Oh yes. Yeah. I mean. 
Spinner bait brand. I probably use Booyah the most. One I really like though that uh, I used to get on Tackle Warehouse and Parham anymore is uh, Coleman Chi. That's yes. a good one. Um, yeah, what happened to them? I don't know. They started clearing some out. That's, that's when I bought them when they cleared some out. They're an awesome bait. Yeah, I got they, one. Yeah, I got two of them. Cool, cool bait. Mm -hmm. uh, especially when you got the Pro Pack. Mm -hmm. Came with the blade and oh, yeah. the skirts and yeah. the extra swivels and all that. Yeah. Awesome bait. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know why they would discontinue those. Those are pretty slick. SOB Mini Me's are awesome. Because they're really compact, you can burn them. Oh, KVD spinner is pretty good too. Mm -hmm. Is winter fishing any good? Not for me. Slow. Yeah. You just gotta slow down a lot. I mean, right now, we're not even really considered winter, are we? I mean, it's. No, we probably got another month. Yeah. I'd say just. And then we'll be froze out, so I mean, unless we go to like a power plant like, we don't have much of a winter time. Yeah, unless here. it's a warm winter. I mean, it's good. That water was 60 degrees last weekend. Favorite drop shot bait? Uh, I don't really do it enough to have, to have a favorite. I mean, just a little four or five inch water is what I would use. Favorite drop shot bait would be a missile based drop craw. Yeah, I do have some. It is tiny, but it is amazing. We whack them up in Wisconsin on those and uh, Lake St. Clair. Kill them. And I caught some big, big fish here on them. It's a cool little bait. Let's see, best way to try to give you this one uh, gravel quarry. No hard structure, just deep weed beds, some rock and sand. Mm, crankbaits, jig, survey maybe. Okay. Garmin. Well, um, I've only used any birds, so. I've never used Garmin. I've seen them in other guys' boats, but I've never had a chance to sit down with them and, and talk to them about them. I mean, they look they look pretty good. Panoptics looks pretty neat. Probably don't need to that question. Mm. Oh, that one, yeah. Yeah. Fish. Awesome, Richard. Good to hear it, buddy. Murray Cod in Australia. Yeah, I have no idea. No, yeah. Um, I don't know. No clue there, Hamish. Trolling a giant net. Probably what commercial netters do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Murray Cod. I don't know. No problem, Nick. Appreciate you guys tuning in, man. Am I having a Black Friday sale? Um, Joel Ortega. Tech Warehouse is going to have a Black Friday sale. Um, I'm actually trying to get them baits right now. They still have them in stock, so. Um, I might do a Black Friday sale. We need to see um, all these. We yeah, have plenty here. We got a couple here. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, I might run something. I usually run Black Friday on bearings all year, so. Let's see here. No, you really can't see him. Shut the lid off. <laughs> Captain Dave, what is up, buddy? Okay, let's see. I've never owned an ugly stick, Captain Dave. Nope. They are pretty indestructible, though. Yeah. Um, they're mostly fiberglass, so glass and glass doesn't break. But they're they don't no sensitivity. Every spinning reel. I mean, I've only really used a few different brands. Uh, out of the ones that I've used, I like that Akuma RTX by the most. Shimano. I've used the uh, Symmetry and Sahara. Those are pretty decent. Yeah. Symmetry Sahara. Um, the Daiwa Ballistic is a nice uh, spinning room. For real, Zed. Never use. <laughs> it's even worth going out to fish in the wintertime. It beats it inside, man. Yeah, I mean, hey, I mean, if you can get out on a nice, yeah. nice sunny day and you still got yeah. fresh water and not frozen water, then yeah. yeah. I mean, jerk bait, slow. Or jig, really slow. No problem, Pamela. Thanks for tuning in. Good round reel for drop shotting. The uh, 2500 or 3000 spinning reel. Uh, braid, mono, or braid and uh, fluorocarbon. That rod. Uh, Dobbins Champion or DX702SF. Does he, uh, they make one of the cheaper? They got that in the Savvy or the. Uh, they might have it in the Savvy. They might have it in the Savvy 702. Well, well, I guess with power in action, though, if they don't want to get a Dobbins, you go with a, you know, like a medium light, medium. Yeah, probably a medium light. You want to have that tip for drop shot. 
I like the Vigil Martinez guys. Yeah. Solid bait. Yeah. Uh, there we go. I got repaint a bunch of old. Trey, I send you my redo. Backwards Bastion, just let me know. I guess find me Revo. Yeah, Revo. It uh, takes two bearings, so it's not too bad. I can knock them out pretty quick. If you're on an island, one rod and bait you choose. A uh, wide bait? Yeah. And a you're trying to, and an ugly stick. Yeah, I'm trying, yeah. <laughs> you're trying to fish to live. If you're on an island, you're in a, a salt somewhere. Yeah, I'm not throwing four gold. Hooks would rust off a second yeah. day. <laughs> <laughs> Disappear. Yeah, man. Best fishing line, uh, I guess it would depend on what brand or what style. I mean, for fluorocarbon, I like uh, Seaguar. Seaguar. Yeah. Braid, I like Sunline. And uh, right now, for my mom, I'm using Suffix, but I think I may go with Seaguar because I tried the 8 pound Cinchy this season and I was a little surprised how strong it was. So I may try awesome. that. Yeah, I might try that next season for uh, my cranking. It's an awesome line. That Cinchy is really good. See, what were you saying about on St. Clair, Trey? We fish on St. Clair. Is that where you fish in the... Uh... Yeah, Josh. Yeah, we fished uh, Lake St. Clair uh, Mother's Day week. Um, we were up there eight days with the uh, BASS Conservation Director and uh, Outdoor Riders. Amazing place. It's, it's extremely fun. A lot of boats, but you can kind of get away from them. Swim jig versus spinnerbait. Uh, me personally, I've been fishing both kind of the same spots. Yeah. Swim jig is just weedless. Yeah, a little more weedless. Find a little more grass, maybe fish a swim jig. Yeah. Spinnerbait is just an awesome bait. It's a great bait. I haven't used Matt Lewis bluegills with you. Uh, yeah. Have used them. <laughs> they're good baits. I mean, like he, okay, yeah, like he them. makes a nice hand for bait. Uh, yeah, they're good baits. Best buzz bait for the money. I like the uh, Omega Alpha Shed. An Alpha Shed? They got buzz bait. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's got two independent blades. Oh, cool. So it clicks over every time it rolls over. I think I probably use uh, Booyah the most. I just try. I just picked up a few of those uh, Mega Strike ones to try. I'm trying to make the them. Cabotrons. Yeah, yeah. Cabotrons. I know those ain't Mega Strike, right? I keep thinking they are because it's got Roland Martin on both of them. I think so. I don't know. He endorses it. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's a man. <laughs> Except for the helicopter lure. I don't know what he was thinking there. I don't know if I've seen that one. Have you seen it? I don't know. It looks like a helicopter. It's, it? like, it's a piece of rubber. Really? Plastic. It, yeah. It's got like three prop blades on it. Uh. it yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's interesting. Mary Cod. A very similar to my mouth. Over a meter. Mary Cod. Huh. That's awesome. Um, spearfishing. I was going to down in Jamaica, but I couldn't. Yeah. The locals were doing it around me. These kids were. It was awesome. They came up with like 60 fish in this big stringer. Wow. And they were all spearfishing, and I wanted to do it so bad, but hmm. couldn't do it. It's pretty neat. Cool. Thanks, fishing. Legion. Legend. Legend, yeah. Z Man and Swim J. Oh. oh, stick is good. Was it Monday? Sydney Lakes and KS. I've never fished Kansas. See Dobbins Fury. You were in the new Dobbins Fury. They changed something up? Uh. Any miles coming up? No. I mean, the, the for the money, the Dobbins Fury is an excellent rod. Um, I thought maybe they met anyone. Anyway. Dobbins Fury's been out of I mean, once now. Yeah, it's been out a couple months. Uh, yeah. yeah. Tech warehouse, they got them back in stock, I think. Yeah, I do, yeah. yeah they should. Uh, let's see what hoodies. There's tall, lanky jokers. Um, Nick, send me a uh, message through Facebook. Uh, I can probably get your size. I'm actually probably going to be doing an order of hoodies soon, but I'm going to possibly let everybody pre-order their color hoodie so if you want a red one you can order a red one if you want a blue one white blue yellow whatever orange black i'm gonna have the guys pre-order but i'll post it on facebook okay you think lucky tackle box will gain 
traction on YouTube. They're trying, but MTB is so big, you know. Uh, yeah, MTB is yeah, great. Yeah, they're huge. They're, they're a bunch of great guys. Yeah, MTB's got all the best guys, you know. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Tacklebox is a, is a great company. They're nice guys. Yeah, I think, you know, like, between the two companies, it's, it's pretty much the same deal. You know, I really see a huge difference in dates. It's the, it's the owners. And MTB started it. They were the first ones, and they're just a great group of guys. Yeah, Mr. Tacklebox. So I'll, I'll never switch. And I don't have a Mr. Tacklebox subscription. But I, kn- I know the guys. Nice guys. Organized terminal tackle. I use the, um, the coffin, the, sh- the shallow coffin. I like that one. It's got more dividers in it, too, if you guys. I got a video comparing those and the plano boxes. You know, if you just use like a regular waterproof plano box, the dividers are so far apart, it's not really good for smaller terminal tackle. So the uh, the compartments in the mafia boxes are a lot closer together. And um, so, you know, more compartments, you can put more stuff in them. That's what I use. I use those for all my terminal tackle and all the hooks, all weights and all that kind of stuff. Terminal tackle. Hmm. I use the old Falcon FTO boxes that are discontinued. Awesome boxes. Yeah, they're all labeled hook sizes and all that. Yeah. yeah. Great little boxes. That was nice. Um, yep. But they don't make any more. Yeah, it's lots. Oh, really? Yeah, group text. Uh, hey, Jared. Josh Sadler. Uh, Okani. Juliet. Um, is that Wisconsin, Illinois? It sounds familiar, but I've never fished them. Oh, Coney. I, I always hear a guy talking mm-hmm. about that. Uh, I think it's in Ron Georgia, though. Um, is it? I don't know what's his name. I was talking about earlier about the boats. Um, I can't think of his name. I think it's in our area, though. Huh. No, I've never heard of those around here. Best ride for 50 or under. Sadder Fury. Yeah, Fury. Fury. Sadder, 189 for that Sad. Yeah, 169 ish. I mean. Fury for one fifty one over You get savvy on sale, Tech Warehouse, twenty percent off. Yep. Black Friday, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, Fury. I mean, that's an awesome round for hundred and nine bucks. Yeah. Wait for Black Friday sales, free shipping or five dollar shipping or ten dollar shipping for next day. I would try the Fury up, but I'll pick a few up for uh, next season. So hard to beat that. Best real for under hundred and fifty bucks, I man. For me it's gotta be a tattoo. And you can usually get that for about hundred bucks if you shop around. Yeah. 150 bucks if you get Type R if you need it for fast gear ratio. But, yeah, shop around for that too. Yeah. But uh, yeah, 150 bucks for under a Tatula. You can get it for 100 bucks, 105 bucks. Biggest bluegill ever caught. Uh, ounces. Yeah. I've never really. Yeah, absolutely. Anything. My dad's caught like a two pound bluegill before. Yeah, I think it's like huge. a Georgia Giant. It's like some type of hybrid, but. Yeah, that's a tiny bluegill. Target smallmouth. I've never crossed my mouth. How do you target smallmouth? And, and Arsenal went down in the Um, Justin Barden. It sounds like he fished some of those northern lakes. Um, something like uh, Geneva. Drop shot jigs, uh, jerk baits, uh, shaky heads, uh, deep cranks. Mike Watts, what's up, Joker? Andy, <laughs> raising to shave my head. I don't know, dude. Whatever the Wi-Fi is. What's up, man? Disposable. Yeah. <laughs> it's pink. I think they got the five blades on them. I think that's what I use. The Mach 7. Yeah. <laughs> I got some of the Z restaurants, yeah. Um, do I t- trim the skirts and the wake baits? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Sometimes when I do, I'll pull out the longer section. Yeah, the mid. Yeah. The mid so section. Idea, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can trim them. I mean, you can... Flare them out as short as you want. Depends if you're getting short strikes or they choke it. Short strikes, I usually uh, trim a little bit. Who's that? Who's that? Trey's in my house, Mike. Yes, Trey's in Illinois. Yep. He ate dinner with us. And I'm not fishing here. <laughs> Let's see here. I figured I could stay on longer. Tell me the best lure is to fish bluffs. Jig. Jig. Jig and jerk bait. In cold water. What brand is the best overall casting rod? And we're both Dobbins guys, so you know we're going to say Dobbins. Yeah, I've been using Dobbins for nine years. Mm-hmm. I still like to say, I, I still like to say, I never, I never like to say the best because I haven't used a lot of rods, but as of right now, my favorite is Dobbins. Yeah, I'll put it like that. Dobbins, they make a nice rod domestically. 
Yeah, I've seen no reason to switch from Amazon. I'm pretty happy with it. Since I do it. Oh, yes, you're yeah. Awesome, Josh. Never been to either of those. Maybe someday. Yeah, the others are streaming right now. Uh, Top Water Assassin, no, I did not get spaghetti and meatballs. I got the uh, sub sandwiches. Sub sandwiches, the heated sub sandwiches. I thought about making your own jigs. Uh, no, I haven't, Jake. I don't have enough time to fish the way it is, so I don't want something else to take out more time. <laughs> yeah. Oop. Length, power, and action for jerk baits. For me, I like the 684, 685 CB, which would be a uh, six foot, six foot eight inch. Either medium to medium heavy power, a moderate fast action rod. Yeah. I mean, they're 684. I use a 705 CB or 704 CB. Let's see here. What about the reel? Um, uh, I uh, reel for the uh, jerkbait. I like a uh, 73 tattoo, I think I use. For jerkbaits? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a 6 to 1. One of these goes here. Basketball here is the lake where pike live. No. Nope. I've caught bass next to pike, and I've caught pike next to bass. Let's see, fishing legends here. I don't fish the uh, Bruce swim baits. I want to fish those rats. I haven't. I know you fish some some big rats. Uh, a fishing legend. Go look up wooden swim baits. Woodenswimbaits.com. Um, these guys are out of Chicago. I've been using their wooden rats for three or four years. They got a bunch of different sizes, awesome baits. Um, rats are fun to fun to throw. Uh, a rig for the winter. I don't mess around with that bait too much, Trady. Uh, yeah. If I have to throw the a rig during a tournament, then I have to throw it. Um, a rig bite will probably start when the water's about 50 to 55, and then it it turns on pretty good. Favorite brand of hooks. Uh, travel hooks, I like Mustad the most, probably. I like Texas Red Hooks and all that, probably. Kamigatsu. Yeah, Kamigatsu. I like Owner, too. They're pretty good. Owner travel hooks are awesome. Yeah, they're really um, good. Kamigatsu, 25 packs for 15 bucks. The warm hooks. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, Daiwa, yeah. We're talking about the jerkbait reel, yeah. I think we both, yeah, we both use Daiwa. Yeah, both Daiwa. Nick Johnson, um, Nick Johnsonville, I would say uh, frogs, swim jigs, the wake bait, uh, maybe punch. Uh, there's tons of grass down there, so uh, I also know where there's some lily pads down there that nobody knows about, so awesome. All these awesome, secrets, Trey. Awesome area. Yeah, we won a tournament on the lily pads down there. Nick Johnsonville, yeah. Sweet. Awesome area. Uh, Luz LFS. Any good? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Luz makes a good reel from their tournament pros all the way up. I think anything lower than tourney pros are, eh. Buy a tattoo Luz. Back to work. All right, Andy. Let me know, dude. Phantom Fisherman. He lives in Hell Shores. Not too far from here. Huh. Nice. Buddy of mine. Favorite soft swim bait? Kitech. Yeah, Kitech makes a good one. Ignite baits for the big ones. But Kitech makes a nice, small. Fun on live target. Mm. I don't really have too many of the hard baits. I, mean, I like frogs. I think it's the frogs detailed. are the best, best yeah. product. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the bait ball. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I mean, you're throwing a squirt on you're ripping it. And it's a blur anyway. Yeah. I just, sure. I just, I'm not a fan of the jerk bait, maybe, because it's stagnant, but. I mean, I think Gene's trying to figure out his life. Gene's, uh, he's over on One Rod's channel. Him, One Rod, uh, Flair, and John D. Man, am I having, having issues? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Where are we at? Fly fished. I've never fly fished. Jake, I have. That's how I first started fishing. My dad was into fly fishing and fly tying. And I got into bass fishing, and yeah, it was, it was over. <laughs> uh, how do you fish a deep target big? Uh, summertime, deep fish, you can throw a spoon. Spoon. Or a 10-inch worm. Cool. Uh, uh, 
is that Marvin 718 uh, best JDM reels you can get used for under 350 bucks. Um, look at the Daiwa SSSVs, um, Daiwa Pixies, Metaniums. Um, you might be able to find some old Steezes for under 350 bucks. TDZs. What do you think about Davin's rods? We don't like them at all. <laughs> We're both on Davin's staff, yeah. We love Davin's. Trey's been with Davin's for how long now? Uh, since day one. Since they first started the company. So been with them for a long time. And I've used Mega Bass rods and stuff over in Japan and I love dots. Make a great ride. This guy used nothing but quality, so if he wouldn't like it, he ain't gonna use it, so uh, let's see here. Night fish much. Summertime I do. I mean yeah. not a whole lot, but summertime. Summertime, yeah. It's only a good time to do it. It's too hot. It's supposed to here when it's 120. <laughs> Uh, musky fishing, I have it. If I, if I wasn't bass fishing, though, I would love to musky fish. Okay, we should go musky fishing. You got Kincaid right down the Yeah, it might go south and go Kincaid. Oh, it's like two hours from here. We got to go. It's fun. Yeah, Kin Kincaid or Pometerra? Mike, I'm going with Trey. I'm not going with you. Right. <laughs> this new bird comes in. Favorite smallmouth bait. Ooh. Mid 40s. Tube. Ned rig. Favorite smallmouth bait in the 40s? Tube or Ned rig? Or jerk bait? Or rail trap? <laughs> <laughs> Small or. I'll do both. Yeah. Favorite spread mill size? Uh, let's see here. I guess I like the 1.5. Those are the KVDs. Those are what? 7 16ths of an ounce? And then the. Uh, I like the Bomber Square A. Those would be the best one for the price, I believe. It's three eighths of an ounce, and it's more of like the 1.0 size. Yeah. Yeah, 1.5, 2.5. The yeah. uh, Nick Johnson. Um, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I worked for Omega for a few years, doing uh, baits for them, and so I like tinkering around. I pretty much like to mess around with all my baits that I throw. And so I've been custom paint baits for a couple years and uh, kind of put the Omega skirts with the weight bait. Did some prototype testing with that, and from there it was kind of history, I guess. Um, I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's kind of neat that uh, people like using the stuff you make. And it's kind of neat people are catching bass and stuff you make. Yeah. It's kind of a cool deal. Sure. Yeah, I got a couple of videos catching some bass on them. Yeah. You got plenty of videos. Yeah, check out Trey's channel if you guys haven't checked it out yet. I'll put it in the description. Six Dobbins rods to cover most techniques. Ooh. I'm going to go with uh, 702, which that's a what, medium. Yeah. I'm going to go with a 703, medium heavy. 704, I like the, the shorter rod. 704, that's a heavy. 735, that's a good pitching bait or pitching rod. Uh, jigs, I'm going to say. Uh, you can still pitch jigs and all that with the 735. I'd say 744 for me. And then a crankbait rod. Yeah. 705 CB is what I would pick. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I guess you can narrow it. Yeah. 745, 703, 705 CB, 734 maybe. And then... yeah, it's toss up for me, 704 and 734. I yeah. still like that, a shorter rod. Depends on doing it. I mean, it's any medium heavy, really. I know a lot of you guys with those square bills on 704, so. Three versions. So, thoughts on Femic Elite Tech Bass Rods. I use those a little bit uh, this season. It's, it's a decent rod. Not a big fan of the grips on them, but it's a decent rod. Was that Femic? Yeah. I haven't used them in years. Good way to fish dirty water in the summer. Chatterbait blade. Uh, I fish dirty water. I mean, I, I'm still in a taste for it, I say that for almost everything, but <laughs> it, it gets bit on that leg, so. Yeah. Yeah, big thumping spinnerbait. Yeah, spinnerbait. When are we all going to go fishing? Uh, not with you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, we're going fishing. Yeah. I don't think the wife will let you go fishing. Yeah, you can't go, Mike. You got to work. <laughs> it's your busy season. <laughs> yeah, pack up all those uh, packages that come to my house. Yeah, you told me that, Andy. Start here, man. Yeah, we got nothing to do with that. Talk to Stan. No problem, Jake. 
Kincaid is too far from James. You'll get lost. Trey's picking me up, by the way. So we're good. Yep, Kincaid. Good work, Mike. <laughs> Fish and Legend, I have the same boat. Protein 175. Uh, let's see here. It's 2009. I'd rather be fishing. What's up? Yeah. What would you fish in cold, muddy water? Good. We got red. Uh, cold, muddy water. I wouldn't throw like a red level, so I mean you can. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Slow it down. Cold, muddy water. Chatterbait. Yeah, chatterbait. Yeah, I still like a craw tech color lip list, but I usually throw like red like in the summertime. Yeah. Well, water's like in the 50. Let's see, what's a good combo for 200 bucks? Uh, for a real, I'm going to say Tatula. Again, you can find that for about 100 bucks. Bass Pro Pro Qualifier is a good one. Yeah. Rod, I mean, any of the Bass Pro rods are good because they're cheaper. You know, you can get those for like 60, 70 bucks, 80 bucks. Dobbins Fury is like 109. So you can pair the Fury up uh, with the Tatula or that Pro Qualifier. I mean, that'd be a good combo. Cranking rods help a lot or no? I say without a doubt, yeah, they help a lot. Cranking rods help a lot. Give them a tip, yeah. Yes. Uh, they're designed specifically not to pull hooks from the fish's mouth. Yep. Okay, Trey, I'll let you answer this one. Thoughts on Phoenix boats? Um, so far, so good. I don't have mine yet. Putting the order soon. Should be here in like 10 or 12 weeks, what they said. Uh, they make a great boat. The factory was cool as hell. Um, Gary Close is awesome. Um, they make they make a great boat. Um, you really can't go wrong with the top five or ten manufacturers. They all make good boats. I love my Triton, so it's hard to get me away from it. My first high school tournament in February. I'm fishing Lake Grapevine. That's in Texas. I think. Any tips? Um, How close again? February. In, I uh, love Texas. Fishing Nation. Um, February should be spawn or pre-spawn. I would say rattle traps. Uh, yeah, rattle traps. Flats before they go into spawning, spawning coves. See, Zach, I got the uh, Hummingbird 598 and the 899. Trey, what you got? I'm running a Lowrance uh, 12 touch and a HDS 8 up front for now. It'll be a 12 touch and a 9. And the new one. Tracker Ranger. I mean, I've only had a tracker, so I don't really have much input on that. I don't know. Yeah. I've never had well, either. I, I don't know. <laughs> I had a nitro open that tracker. I mean, I know Ranger makes aluminum boats now. Kill them with Gatorade. <laughs> uh, Question on average, go to soft plastic. For me, it's going to be two. Man, I haven't thrown two in a while. Oh, for a small one. Uh, let's see here. Zeki is all honey bird. What's the deepest you will target bass? Six feet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I fish dirty water lake, man. Those fish don't go deep, really. Um, uh, there's brush piles that I'll hit that are like in 13 foot of water, but I'm not actually fishing 13 foot of water. I'm fishing kind of above the brush pile, things like that. I mainly stay pretty shallow, yeah. Six foot or less. But uh, I mean that's where the bass are. Yeah. So. I like fishing deep I like fishing shallow, don't get me wrong. My deepest bass is forty two feet. That was on a drop shot. Uh up north, fishing for a smallmouth. It's just unbelievable. Forty two feet of water. Yeah, that's uh, I like fishing shallow though. What's the bay you always have tied on? For me it's gonna be uh two or square bill. Jig. Yeah, jig. Jig. I have multiple jig rods always on deck. Low Ranch or Hummingbird. I'm not going to say which one is better. I mean, I went to Bass Pro for like a year and played around with them. And for me, the Hummingbird just seemed to uh, work better for me. You know, I figured it out easier. I think it's kind of what's going to be. I mean, uh, yeah. Why you like personal preference. Kind of like what? Mustang and yeah. Camaro, you know. Where, you know? Are you? Where am I getting the best deal on? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Why are they only getting me? That's the deal is I like my Lorenzo. So. I mean, works great. I've never been ice fishing now. Uh, neither have I. I've been invited to go up the north, but it's too cold. <laughs> uh, tar any tip to target six and eight pound fish? 
Ik weet. Uh, swim bait. Swim bait. Throw a swim bait. Big bait, big fish. So you start one swim bait here. He wants to catch something to bigger no chance. Uh, uh, swim baits. <laughs> yeah, keep throwing them. Uh, or go to like Texas. <laughs> yeah. Or California. Swim baits. I don't know what you want to say. Let me know. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Five kids off at nine. So. What's up, you man? Let me know. We'll end it whenever you want to. Somebody go. Ned rig. We tried it. Um. I got the stuff for it. I don't think I've tried it yet. Yes. Uh, Russell, on, yeah. we threw it up at Lake St. Clair for a week. Um, they would not eat a tube. They would kind of spit it out. Um, we threw the Ned Rigs, and we destroyed them on Ned Rigs. We caught some giants, five to six pounders. Um, some big fish. It's like I get the Ned Rig stuff, the drop shot stuff, and I get to the lake. It's so dirty. I'm like, I don't do this. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, it's essentially just a finesse shake he has. Yeah. It's just so dumb. Right. <laughs> it's this big. Yeah, we're work, man. Yeah. Where is Rapevine? I have no idea. I'm guessing Texas. Head to Texas, Andy. Rand or Crab Orchard. Uh, I fished Ren Lake a couple months ago for a tournament. Um, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was really tough. We caught my square balls and jigs. Uh, I never fished Crab Orchard. I fished uh, the one next to it, though. Um, lake of Egypt. That's an awesome lake. Yes, James, we are. Man, we got some loyal fans. We're keeping going, dude. We got enough to do. Um, fan fishing. Uh, yeah, multi paddling. I want to come up to Minnesota. Got some buddies that have been fishing some of those killer lakes up there. I want to get their bad. It's okay. unbelievable. No problem, Nick. Appreciate you tuning in, man. I've never used uh, Abbey Reels. Appreciate it, Nick. It's tough to break into the fishing industry, especially in baits. More. That's a good question. Do you rely on your electronics more at some times of the year? Offshore. Yeah. Yeah, I say summertime. Summertime. Yeah. Summertime when those fish are offshore. When they try to school up, you got to find them. It's a lot easier with electronics nowadays. Um, fan of fishing, uh, love the battery so far. I will be running the K2s next year on the new Phoenix. They have been excellent batteries. They're real expensive. Concept A or Catula, um, I haven't used Concept A yet. I just actually put line on it today, so I'll try it out tomorrow. I'll let you guys know. I can already tell you, though, just by feeling them, to me, the Tattoo feels way more solid. Yeah. And I like the actual grip of it better. I mean, the Concept A is a small reel. It's a tiny reel. It's a good looking reel, but it's just, uh, yeah, as far as this feeling goes, I'm going to go with that too, as far as that goes. But we'll see how it performs. Yeah. Concept A is a little bit smaller. The spool is a little bit smaller. Yeah, they only hold like 100 yards of uh, 12 pound line. Yeah. And it's great for flipping. You know, from here to there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I don't know what size batteries I run. I have to go look. Uh, Zach Helland, I run uh, K2s. They're 46. Six amp hour lithiums, um, random all year. They have been excellent batteries. You're probably running size 27s. Actually, I think I got a 29. 29. One of them, yeah. yeah I tell you what, uh, Zach, I got asked that before. It's why on my last boat tour, I did a close up of the battery sizes. I just can't remember off the top of my head. You guys can go check out the video if you like. I want to say yeah, the trolling is a 29, I think. Now I've got the, the K2 batteries on my web, my uh, YouTube channel, showing how light they are. They're like 17 pounds a piece. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Josh, um, I've worked on a bunch of the Black Max reels. They're not a bad reel. I mean, I bought a, three or four of them for my buddy. I think I got them for like 35 bucks a piece. And they just miss all the bearings. I mean, they just have all bushings instead of bearings. It's not a terrible reel, but, you know, if that's your budget, then it's a great little reel. Uh, you know, it's a good little reel. Savage gear last through trials, so I've never used them. Never used them. Uh, let's see here. 
-hmm. Fun doing any more uh, blogs. I did a few just screwing around, and they're fun. I may do some more, you know, next year. Maybe I'll go visit the trade. We'll hang out in the in the shop, something like that. But uh, yeah, maybe hit the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna screw around the ponds tomorrow. Maybe I'll catch something. I don't know. It's the only day I'm gonna have though. Fifty-two tomorrow. Favorite rain gear? Uh, we both use the uh, Bass Pro 100 mile per hour gear. Yeah, so you got to pick up the kids in the afternoon. Yeah, I can give them a three, so Alan got it until like 9 to 3. I drive them off at 8.30. Let's see, you should ice fish. Yeah, you know, I'm not an ice fisherman, this is not my thing. I got cast. I guess I could drill a hole and then go back about 30 yards to try and hit it. <laughs> you know, I'm not an ice fisherman. You know this guy? Did I ever talk to you today? Is that alcohol? Uh, Anglers in Action. Who are those? David Dyer. Um, <laughs> I was thinking of alcohol. Was or AA. Hey, hey, alcohol is anonymous. <laughs> I've never been to AA, so you probably don't know me. We drink Gatorade, dude. Right. <laughs> Gatorade or Monster? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just emailed me. All right, Mike, see you. David. Oh, okay. Yeah, David, I don't live anywhere near Chicago. Uh, I do fish up there a lot, though. Trophy bass hunting. I don't really uh, hunt for anything to bite. Trophy bass hunting. Um, David, if you're in Chicago, go south. Go to Kentucky, Gunnersville, Lake Fork, Chickamauga, uh, Lake Okeechobee. Get out of that Chicago area. Yeah, I got side imaging on both of my units. I like it just because this area that I fish got a bunch of stumps in it, and I can actually see the stumps before I cast them. So if I might think there's some fish on those stumps, I can actually see them on the side scan and then toss over to it. So, man, I like it. Never used eye bobber. I, saw I thought eye bobber was kind of like deeper, but it's not. I mean, you actually, there's a line you tie to it, and you actually put a worm or whatever on it. Cast it out. Yeah, and then it, I guess it sends a signal to your phone that you got to bite. Oh, is that the review that what's his name was doing with the Blair? girlfriend? Yeah, that's yeah. what that is. So, okay. yeah, it's, it's not what I thought it is. So uh, I thought it was like a fish finder. Yeah, I thought it was like beaver. It's not. Huh. That's weird. Best jigs, I know, Trey. Yeah, yeah like Omega. Omega. Just because I develop it. I'm a busy guy. <laughs> Any interest in coming up in PNW? Uh, not for me, Trey. PNW. Fish mollies? Uh, mm, not unless, no. <laughs> no. No. Not unless David from Duo can get me up there to fish uh, Idaho, the river up there. Uh, FG, no. I've never used it. I use uh, Noah Uni, I think. I don't usually use many leaders. Yeah, I think I use the blood. Or, mm -hmm. yeah, Uni, Uni. Yeah. Yeah. I just hardly ever use it. Yeah, I don't really use how many liters. Something else to break. Yeah. Will you ever fish with one rod, one reel? Probably not. I don't know what it is. What's he doing? Like hang out right now? Oh. Yeah, blues are tied in the third. Nick Johnson's two to two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping tabs right here. I've used dirty jigs, yeah. It's decent jig. But actually, once I started using e I sold them all. That's how much I like the new jigs, so. <laughs> hey, man. This Gatorade's good. This is my third one. My second one. <laughs> I don't fish small now. The couple lakes that I fish don't, don't, uh, don't stock them. I don't sure it is. Yeah, small is a blast. Do it every year. You can fish one lake you haven't yet. Uh, Lake Fork. Uh, Gunnersville. Never fished it yet. See, Richard, yeah, me and Philip, we're going to do some more stuff next year. Yeah. Have I ever caught a boot? <laughs> no. Nah, uh, my wife, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you enjoy internet fame? Uh, I don't consider myself famous, I mean... It's fun talking to you guys. Right. I'm just a joke around YouTube, you know. Do I think we could have Talon and Power Pole worth the money? Uh, power Pole's yes, Talon's no. 
Um, Talon's Dragon Talon. um, Dragon Water. Yeah. Yep. They sit too well in the water, so when you're either getting up on plane or you're making a turn, they dig in the water. Okay. And you can actually feel the Talons dig in the water. Hmm. Power poles that actually come up and out gotcha. from the boat. That's a good point. Uh, how much total have you spent on tackle? A lot. Plenty. I can show you my box of reels. Weirdest <laughs> <laughs> thing you've ever hooked? Um, weirdest thing? I don't know if it's weird, but I did manage to hook with a uh, round bend offset the tab of a soda can. Oh, man. Yeah. Huh. So I could do that again. The weirdest thing I've ever caught. Uh, shoes or shoe? Shoe? Yeah. yeah. Dream Lake? I don't know. Someone's got like record, world record bass. Yeah. Guaranteed 22 pound fish. <laughs> yeah. Can you explain what, uh, what green bait when you want a fish? Tired of all the colder water, right? Yep. I don't know why, but yes. How about the, the, uh, the flatter side of the crankbait tackle off? It doesn't put out more vibrations on the side, something like this. Yeah, so. I mean, that's when I use them. I got an octopus, no. Octopus, no. Best genetic omega, new tackle. You fished Lake Erie. I haven't. You fished Lake Erie? Uh, yes, fished Lake Erie last year out of Ohio. Um, awesome. Smallmouth. They were uh, uh, jerkbaits all week. It was a blast. Thoughts on cheap lures? I mean, one of my favorite squirrels is a bomber spray, which you can get for three yeah. bucks. I mean, yeah, you can find them discon or uh, discounted Cabela's. For yeah, dollar ninety nine. Yeah, nothing wrong with with cheap lures. If you got the money, buy them more expensive. Not cheap lures are fine. Yeah, they all catch it. Just send them to me and get them repainted. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, uh, best bass so from a pond, seven pounds from the lake, five and a half. Uh, ten o two, uh, from the lake and big small is six eighty. That's big cast and reel under 200 bucks. And we covered this few Petula. times. Petula. Connor. Uh, which lure do you use? Where are you? Oh. Uh, the laser lure. Oh, yeah, I never, I never well, I fell into that trap. <laughs> <laughs> the laser lure, or I hate to say it, the Livingston lures. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's just, eh, meh. Laser lure. <laughs> Anyone that didn't work out this point then. Yeah, laser lure, man. Favorite search bait. How do you target a new bass? Favorite search bait would be a square bill. And that's pretty much how I target a new lake. I just I uh you know, my confidence is like it's like wood, rock, so I'll take baits that are good around that. Square bills, uh chatter baits, spinner baits, things like that, and just kinda of fish my strength. Um Is there a way to tell how tight the bottle is from looking at the package? Mm, thinner the bait, the tighter the wobble. Yep. Uh, Kai W. Uh, duos or the one tens. Uh, Vision one tens are staple. They are probably the premier jerk bait. But everybody's been throwing them for ten years. Um, so I go with something a little different. The duos are just a different bait. They just have a little bit better belly roll to them. See, I've tried the, uh, the Rajis. I don't know if I caught a fish on them yet. They got some good action. I got a few of them snagged up. I haven't thrown them yet. Michael C., yes, I fish Kentucky Lake all the time. I'm down there a month out of the year. That's $100 uh, Yeah. All right. Well, guys. I'm going to call tonight. Yeah, we can. All these questions are good. Flopper, flopper. Uh, yeah, I love the Waffle Flopper. I just didn't catch any fish on it. <laughs> it's a pretty neat bait. I just need to get all the other colors that I need. Uh, can I text one baits? I like them. Actually, the, uh, what's that one called? The one we just got in our uh, Mr. Tackle box, it, it's like, it looks just like a Kitek. And, uh, that's what I did. I cut it, cut the head off, I put it on the trailer. This one here. I'll try that tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to wrap go get on jeans. So. All right, guys, I think we're going to uh, call it a night, but only for a couple hours. If you guys haven't checked out Trey's channel yet, definitely check him out. And uh, we'll tell him your company and all that again on Facebook. Yeah, check out the uh, YouTube channel. 
um, TH Customs, Terry Harpel, uh, THWorldTunningCleaning.com, um, Periscope as well, um, and uh, Instagram, TH Customs. So, all right, guys, we're out. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. You guys have a good night. I see you guys. See what the gene and those guys are. Come on, is it off, though? I don't know. Yeah, it's on. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> I see it. Went too long out.